get ready to look at a range of traits, and in particular, their effects and unique interactions. Also know that in this video, we're focusing on traits brought in from expansion and game packs. Let's go. Sims who have the high maintenance trait from the Spa Day game pack may experience a wide range of hilarious negative emotions, including Poseidon's kiss after using a toilet, an irrational hatred of the sun when heading out on a sunny day, struggling after drinking salt water, being butt hurt after sitting down, and even just having the worst day ever. Some of these moodlets can be cleared faster by performing wellness activities like using a face mask, so know that there is a solution to all the hilariously dramatic moodlets. Now for the squeamish trait that comes with the outdoor retreat game pack, and sims who have this trait will become uncomfortable when fishing, and even nauseated for a brief period of time after catching a fish. Similarly, witnessing a death will cause squeamish sims to become uncomfortable due to nausea, and when this nausea moodlet is active, they can throw up in a toilet to clear it but note that this will make your toilet filthy. Next is that squeamish sims will become uncomfortable around dirty things more easily than other sims, and they'll also get an uncomfortable moodlet from cleaning dirty dishes. Sims with the dance machine trait from the Get Together expansion pack will get a happy moodlet when arriving at a bar, nightclub, or lounge type lot. And while at these lots, they can click on themselves and select party time. Doing this will give your sim an energized plus two moodlet for four hours. Dance machine sims also have a disco nap option as opposed to a regular nap, and this will see your sim gain energy a lot faster than a normal nap which is very handy. Sims with the insider trait, which is again from the Get Together expansion pack, will gain a happy moodlet when they are hanging out in a group with at least three people. On the flip side, these sims will gain a sad moodlet when they haven't socialized with friends for a while. Now for the unflirty trait that comes with the City Living expansion pack. Unflirty sims are really, really bad at romance, and many of their romance interactions are tweaked to be less successful versions, and hence show just how bad an unflirty sim's romantic attempts will be. Next, unflirty sims will gain an uncomfortable or embarrassed moodlet if their flirty interactions are unsuccessful, which as you might have guessed, happens quite a bit and they are also unable to perform many romantic interactions if they are uncomfortable. Cat lover sims are able to enthuse others about cats, and they will gain a happy moodlet after successfully introducing themselves to cats. Also, I found cat lover sims to gain friendship with cats faster than sims without the trait. Similarly, dog lover sims are able to enthuse others about dogs and will also gain a happy moodlet when introducing themselves to dogs. Just like cat lovers, dog lovers will gain friendship with dogs faster than sims without the trait. Sims with the self-absorbed trait from the Get Famous expansion pack are able to fish for compliments, and receiving compliments will give them a happy moodlet. Sims with the paranoid trait, which comes with the Strangerville game pack, will gain a happy moodlet when they are in a basement. Now for the Child of the Islands trait from the Island Living expansion pack. Sims with this trait are able to summon island elementals. These are like judgy ghosts that appear and start an event and who like or dislike you based on how much you're embracing island culture, eventually giving you either a positive or negative moodlet. If you befriend these elementals, then you can even ask them to join your household, and they will become a human in the process, but not a regular human sim, as they will have a unique trait called Sulani Mana, and this enables them to use their elemental energy to increase the quality of plants with the gift of Sulani, as well as summon giant volcanic rocks which will come crashing down from the sky, and which can be opened for various things like elements or metals, or even be made decorative. This trait is also hereditary, and will be passed on to any children that this sim will have. Next, we'll look at the Child of the Ocean trait, and again, this is from the Island Living expansion pack. Sims with this trait will gain a happy plus two moodlet when and for a little while after swimming in the ocean. Sims who are a child of the ocean will also gain an uncomfortable plus one moodlet after eating fish and a sad plus one moodlet for two hours after catching a fish. Sims with the maker trait that comes with the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack will receive a happy plus one moodlet after making things, and this includes things on the fabricator, 
Candle Making Station, Woodworking Bench and the Juice Fizzer. On the flip side, Maker Sims will get a sad moodlet if they haven't made anything for a long period of time. Unlike Sims without the trait, Maker Sims won't get a negative dazed moodlet if the fabricator malfunctions on them. Now for the Freegan trait which comes with Eco Lifestyle. Freegan Sims are able to check if spoiled food is still fresh. And sometimes, despite it still stinking, food will revert back to being normal quality and become edible for a while. Note that this won't always work though. Freegan Sims can become uncomfortable after returning from work and earning money. Next is that Freegan Sims will have a better chance at finding higher quality goods while dumpster diving. And they'll often gain an energized plus two moodlet after finding things in a dumpster too. Freegan Sims are able to ask for a discount from some stores. And this can lead to an energized moodlet while making the next item that they buy a bit cheaper. We'll look at Sims with the green fiend trait now. And yes, once again, it's from Eco Lifestyle. Sims with this trait will gain an inspired moodlet when performing green activities, such as gardening. Now to look at Recycle Disciple, which is the final additional trait from the Eco Lifestyle pack. In addition to rummaging for bits and pieces, these sims can also rummage for assemblage in a bin. This has a chance to give bits and pieces, and in addition, it will provide your sim with an energized moodlet. And while this moodlet is active, it will see your sim upgrade objects at a faster rate. Note that you can also get this moodlet from recycling using a home recycler. Sims with the adventurous trait, which is from the Snowy Escape expansion pack, will get a happy moodlet when rock climbing, and they'll also get a happy moodlet when going away on holiday. Now let's look at the proper trait, which again is from Snowy Escape. If a sim has the proper trait, then they will be more limited in their introductions with the respectful introduction overriding other basic introductions, as well as some unlocked from the charisma skill, such as the cheerful and the flirty introductions. Admittedly, this part of the trait is a little bit annoying. Proper sims are also unable to start fights, though know that others can still start fights with them, and they will also have some unique flirty interactions, including to propose scandalous questions, to court sims, and to canoodle on lounges. Proper Sims will also gain a happy moodlet when dressed in formal wear, which is a pretty easy way to make a Sim happy. Now for the animal enthusiast trait from the Cottage Living Expansion Pack. And Sims with this trait will gain various happy moodlets when spending time with and interacting with animals. Also, in addition to their social need bar filling up a bit when interacting with animals, Sims with the animal enthusiast trait will also see their fun need fill up a bit too. Animal enthusiast Sims gain a huge range of unique interactions with animals, including to show off their dance moves, pet them enthusiastically, and to smother them with love. They can also practice violin and guitar with animals too, which is a great way to train up that skill while making animal friends. And I'm also loving the Snow White vibes that it gives. Now the lactose intolerant trait, which again is from the Cottage Living expansion pack. Sims with this trait will briefly gain a happy moodlet when eating something with lactose, such as cheese. However, afterwards they'll get an uncomfortable moodlet and their bladder need will take a hit, potentially even leading to bladder failure. Next, we'll look at the overachiever trait from high school years. Sims with this trait will build skills faster, and from my testing, this was rather significant and led to Sims training skills at around double the usual rate. So kind of broken really. And on top of this, they'll gain a small happy moodlet upon leveling up a skill. Overachiever Sims can get angry moodlets from performing some of the more creative tasks. For example, painting. Overachiever Sims are also able to click on themselves and select prepare for next task. After choosing this, then after a short while, they'll gain either an inspired or an energized moodlet, both of which can be helpful for training particular skills. Finally, overachiever sims can enthuse others about learning additional skills and also humble brag with other sims. And overall, they'll struggle more when trying to get along with other sims as friends. Now for the party animal trait, which again is from the high school years expansion pack. And these sims will gain a strong happy moodlet while at a party and again after a party finishes. Party animal sims can click on themselves and choose to remember past parties. And this will give them various moodlets, 
for example, inspired or energized moodlets. Party animal sims can also click on themselves to perform a party trick, and they'll then perform a fun interaction. In addition, they can let out a massive woo, and nearby sims might join in. However, most of the time I've tried this, in many situations, only a few sims join in, and my sim then gets a sad moodlet because of this. Next, we'll look at the socially awkward trait, which is again from the High School Years expansion pack. These sims struggle socially and have unique interactions with other sims, including to express their nervousness around new sims, to ask for social advice, and sometimes even to admit to being socially awkward. On top of this, socially awkward sims can become tense when out at events or locations with lots of unfamiliar sims. Finally, know that socially awkward sims will see their charisma skill improve at a slower rate, and from my testing, they'll gain the charisma skill at around half the speed when compared to sims without this trait. Also note that instead of practicing a speech on a mirror to train their charisma skill, these sims will choose to work on their awkwardness instead. And with that, we're at the end. Thank you so much for watching and know that I have more videos like this that focus on the base game traits, so check them out if you want to. And I'll have links to them in the description. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day. See you later!